Hello all, welcome to session 43 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about variable types and their scope. So let's get started. So what are the different types of variables and what is their scope? First type of variables are local variables. The variables that are declared inside the methods. For example, here, there is a main method here. Inside the method, if I'm creating a variable, int a is equal to nine. This variable, which is created inside a method, okay? You see, this is the starting of the method body, and this is, in, this is the end of the method body. Inside the method, if I'm creating a variable, such kind of uh, variables are known as local variables. So what is the scope of this local variables? The scope of the local variables is up to this method only. Okay, I can access this variable inside this method. You see console dot write line. I can print the value of the variable here. Okay, nine will be printed in the output. When I run this, I have run the program. Just wait for the output, guys. So it's yeah, it's loading. You see nine got printed in the output, right? Nine got printed. What if I try to access the same local variable outside the method somewhere here? I'll create one more method, public static. So uh, till some time, guys, uh, before the variables and methods, I'll be using the static keyword. Okay, till I explain what is static, we have to keep on using static keyword before the variables and methods inside the class. Okay, so fine. So public static void. I'll say sample method. In this sample method, I'll try to access this variable which is created in main method. Okay. So console dot write line. I'll try to print the variable a. So you see, you are getting an error because this is not visible. This particular variable a, which is uh, declared and created inside the main method, is not accessible outside the method. Okay, outside the main method, up to this, from here to here only, the scope of the variable is there, guys. Okay, after that, you cannot access. You see, when I'm trying to access, you are going to get uh, this kind of error saying that uh, does not exist. Okay, does not exist. Problem is coming. So local variables. Okay. The variables that are declared inside the methods are called as local variables and scope of this uh, variables local variables is up to the method only in which they are created. Okay, only the method in which they are created up to that only we can access these variables. Now, next type of variables guys. Okay, second type of variables. Uh, let me drag it here. Variables declared directly under the class, uh, but outside the methods are global variables. Okay, after local variables, there is one more variables known as global variables. The variables that are declared directly under the class and outside the methods. That means uh, under the class we created, let's say static int b is equal to some 10. Okay, so here this particular variable is directly created under the class, but outside the methods. So such kind of variables are known as global variables. Okay, in C sharp such kind of method uh, variables are known as global variables. The variables that are directly created under the class, but outside the methods are called as global variables. So these global variables you can access uh, anywhere throughout the class. Okay, the the scope of this uh, global variables is throughout the class from starting from here to here. The scope is there. Okay, starting of the class to the ending of the class. The scope is there. That means I can access anywhere throughout the class. For example, if I want to access inside this main method that global variable, I can access without any problem. You see here in the sample method, if I want to access that uh, variable, I can access. There is no problem. Okay. The scope of these variables, uh, which are global variables, that is uh, the variables that are created directly under the class and outside the methods is throughout the class. Throughout the class, the scope is there and we can access. Now, the third type of, uh, so second type of variables are global variables, the variables that are directly created under the class and outside the methods and scope is up to the class, okay? Complete class you can access. Now, third type of variables, okay? So the variables that are declared inside a block, say block or while loop or for loop, right? Okay, uh, there is no particular name for them. Okay, they are local to the block. Okay, local block variables or whatever you can call. Scope is up to that block only. For example, here, guys, uh, here I'll create a, uh, I'll create a um, if block or something. Okay, if if some condition, I'll say if a is greater than five. Okay, if a is greater than five, like this, and say int c is equal to eight. Okay, int c is equal to eight. So now if I try to print this, uh, okay, see it will be printed here, not a problem. Okay, the scope of this particular variable which is created inside this if block, okay, the third category variables declared inside a block, say if block or while loop or for loop, the scope is up to that block only. That means the if block is starting here, ending here, up to this block only, we can access this C. 
okay if i run this code you see the value of uh, c that is 8 will be printed in the output somewhere you see 8 got printed here okay now what if uh, uh, i try to access it uh, somewhere else okay somewhere here okay console dot write line outside the block within the method only but uh, outside the block the block is up to here only but within the method i am trying to access but uh, it is it won't be possible you see you are getting going, going to get the error because the scope of this variable c is up to this block only outside the block it is not possible to access fine guys uh, these are the different type of variables we have so in case of this uh, if block you can put a for loop or while loop or do while loop or switch case or whatever it is the scope of these variables is up to that blocks only okay such kind of variables created inside the blocks like if block or while loop or do while loop or for loop right or for each loop or whatever the loops okay the scope is up to the block only okay these are the different types of variables and uh, uh, their scopes okay their scopes so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another c sharp.net topic for you till then see you bye bye